In this session, I will explain one of the important relative valuation ratios price to book value. Let's recall the term book value from balance sheet session. Company's total assets minus total liabilities will give you shareholders' equity. This is also called as book value of the company. Book value divided by number of shares outstanding will give you book value per share. Price to book value ratio is calculated as share price divided by book value per share. PB ratio is widely used as relative valuation multiple for investment decisions. As you understand the PB ratio, it's time to get into details of few thumb rules to look at PB as relative valuation metric. You can value a business by comparing PB ratio to its own historical PB multiples. For historic multiples to be relevant, you should consider similar underlying value of drivers like business fundamentals, interest rates, inflation, and so on. Considering business fundamentals are intact, stock can be considered as cheap when it's trading below historical PB multiples. The other way to use PB is to compare price to book value of similar companies. The companies should be similar in terms of business model, industry, and market capitalization. Stock can be considered as cheap when it's trading at low PB compared to competitors. You should use relative valuation with great deal of caution. Make sure you are comparing very similar businesses and historical multiples with similar underlying drivers of value. Let's understand when and how to use PB ratio as relative valuation metric. Book value is the amount of money left on the table after company pays off its debt obligations. In case company enters bankruptcy or need to close the operation, this is the amount of money investors can expect to get back. Hence, PB ratio works very well for the companies that are asset heavy like airline, commodity, oil and gas, metals and so on. Their earnings power comes mainly from the tangible assets. The stock is buy when PB ratio is trading below its own historical average. Moreover, it's trading at lower multiple compared to competitors with similar size and business model. Price to book ratio works best for financial companies as well, like banks and insurance companies. Financial companies follows mark to market accounting rules. This means, they are required to record their assets at the fair value traded in the market. The balance sheet items such as assets and liabilities reflect their current market price. Therefore, the shareholder's equity on the balance sheet of financial company is very close to the net worth of the company assets in the market. The stock is buy when PB ratio is trading below its own historical average and competitors with similar size and business model. For the businesses that are assets light, such as software product, cloud services and the companies with economies of scale, PB ratio does not work well. Thank you.